everyone this is me swanchu and today i am presenting you a video of uh, 3v3 which i played on deccan and i am playing as dutch i played this game on eso with uh, some decent players first lieutenant and captains and majors and uh, i am starting in the starting i am picking some cows and i have already got one wood treasure 50 wood which is quite nice for me and because we are going for uh, uh, rush as they have Japan so I'll age up with 15 villagers and I will try to pick up as many treasures as I can while I'm aging the civilizations are I'm playing as Dutch my mate being French and British versus um, we are playing versus Japan British and uh, German so because of the Japan we are thinking to rush and I'm already aging and I'm picking up some treasures while I'm aging because I have already found three wood treasures so I have enough wood to make a bank and a barracks I'll send two forward villagers Hello. for making the racks and in the meanwhile I'm just making some I'm just doing some standard stuff I put four villagers on coin so that I can make uh, a rack and uh, so that I can make skirmishers and villagers all together and I already have one bank. With a 400 wood I will make another bank and probably a couple of houses uh, with a 275 wood in bank. I don't uh, I am not making an early market and I found this in the cow of uh, the British player which was kind of out side is base so I killed it now I am immediately making a Hello. barracks with my two forward villagers so that I can queue some skirmishers and we can put some pressure they are made a wall on this side so we will try to pressure from the other side of the map from here we will have to move from here to here but it's still fine as we will be able to pressure the uh, Japanese player now let's see how it goes out I am shipping 700 wood the fact uh, normally when we rush we have to ship uh, a bank wagon so that uh, we don't have to invest our uh, food into the banks but in this case I already have 600 food in my bank so I can prefer to send uh, wood shipment and make some banks with that I lost my explorer here because the Japanese explorer also came while I was taking the treasure so it was kinda sad he is making the wall and I am trying to block it with my envoy and I will send my 5 skirmishers right here the 700 wood came and I am gathering it with 2 villagers which is just some standard stuff I am doing I put the 5 skirmishers are out at 5.13 which is not a bad time but considering Deccan everyone can get 5 units out pretty fast now I am training more skirmishers and villagers and I will make uh, I am making another bank I see that German is raiding so I will cancel my bank wagon I should cancel my bank wagon and ship yeah and shipping 8 uh, 8 pikes so that I can help yellow in defending the raids and yellow can help us in pushing out and now I am making so now in total I have 2 banks at 6 minutes and I am pushing out with my skirmishers I see some villagers and I will try to go and poke them I will only get a batch of 3 skirmishers out in the second batch which is not good but it's not bad either now I am tra trying to pick off some villagers and uh, in the meanwhile the German player is trying to raid us now we don't see any army from them yet so we are just uh, Sieging down the consulate and trying to cook in. Now we see some longbows, uh, and there are a lot of longbows. Our uh, so guy has to go and take them. I see some Ashigaru coming, and I will immediately try to pick off some Ashigarus. There you see, I have killed one, two, and the third one is almost out. And I here I am helping out him with the raids. I saw some Ulans going here and there, and they are trying to take out our villagers but be because they have a wall here and their base is somewhere here the longbows can stand behind the wall and shoot so what we will try to do is we will try to take down this wall so that we can fight a head to head 
I'm and uh, here are some again I'm not able to catch them with the pikes but I can to make sure that they don't trade us now the ulans are coming to fight here as well but I think we have enough musketeers to actually deal with them now our reinforcing will come from this side so we can actually trap of the longbows the British player is adding in the second rack our British player has already made a second rack my skirmishers are set point here and okay. now just some standard stuff going on and I am shipping the bank wagon which will be my fourth bank so I will have my four banks by seven by eight o'clock by eight minutes in the game and I will also have a decent amount of skirmishers to push in in this game what we are basically trying to do is we are trying to make a rush and make our eco behind it so right now I have four banks and I'll make more later on if I can there are some cows by the game by the wall which are mine but I'm not sure why I'm not moving them there are a lot of guns so it's time for me to bring my pikes into the fight and there they are and we also need them for sieging the stuff his explorer and Gurkha are being annoying in my base so I'm just trying my town center to kill the Gurkha now we will push out with our skirmisher, skirmisher and uh, musks while my pikes will siege down everything pikes have a decent amount of siege I'm trying to pick off everything I can with my range advantage of skirmisher because longbow can't kite and that's why longbow aren't good if they aren't in a mass the ashigarus are pretty out of position and uh, the mass of ashigaru is very very less he has like 10 ashigarus versus 15 who says and ashigaru aren't even upgraded with any card yet so we can easily take down this card i'm constantly making skirmishers from single racks and I am sending this car HP card, this commission and hit point card now, so that uh, it also benefits my um, the, my mate musketeers because it's a team infantry card. It's already uh, a huge boost for both of us. I'll play it fast. We are doing some sieging with my pikemen and I am fighting with my skirmishers. They don't have much units. The the, Jap the Japanese guard doesn't have anything for now. Maybe he's aging behind. So now I'm just uh, poking with my skirmishers and killing the stuff with my pikes. I see two more Ashigaru come out which are instantly killed by my skirmishers. And now we'll make a push. We'll try to make a push in their base after killing this table. I am sending the charge card which will help me get my banks, more banks up and I am also making a market so that I can get some improvements. I could have made a market a little bit earlier but that was sloppy for me. But it's alright since I will have more banks now. The German guy is again raiding us and I, we will tell our Hussar guy to go and cast the raids with some of the Hussars and now we will push in the middle because we have already we already have an advantage of the army as we have already killed a lot of ashigarus and longbows we haven't gotten hold of the ulans yet they ran away but still we have an infantry advantage right now their team has one tp and we have no tp but it's all right i see two villagers one of which is low hp i immediately killed the low hp one and now i'll go for the one with full HP. The Japanese explorer is having line of sight of my villagers, so I know that these ulans will come straight away for them. And I should be moving them right now, otherwise, I will lose a few of them. But I think I am busy seeing this side. Now I notice it, and it's too late for me to move them. I'll definitely lose a few of them now. But those ads I have been sent to deal with them. And I'm doing my great courts now so that I can now save my more of the villages. My fifth bank is up. I will make a sixth bank soon. 
and we are pushing out here. Now I have a shipment ready. Let's see what I will send. I think I will send the bank, the card which lets me do my bank limit, so that I can have seven banks. Now I have five banks and about to make a six bank, so I have no villager around kind, and I have a single barracks, so I can easily make five skirmishers and villagers from a single racks with five banks. I don't need villagers on bank uh, on coin right now. I see that they are making another wall inside the base and longbows are standing behind the wall but they are still in range of the skirmishers and I am picking them up. I have already killed three of them and the fourth one is almost out but the German guy has a lot of lot and lot of uh, ulans which we might have to care about. Japanese guy is making yumis. I have no idea why he is making yumis now. He need to make uh, Ashigaru to deal with the cap. The skirmishers are killing while the pikes are seizing the houses. And I have made my 6th bank now. And I will possibly make a 7th bank soon. I will play it fast. Basically now it's over. Because the only player who has mass in them is the German and we have enough pikes and musks and share to deal with the Ulan mass. They don't have any infantry mass, the, the, the Japanese guy is making Yumis for no reason. I mean yeah Yumis are good but you need Ashigaru in this case. A big reinforcing Ushai coming from the British player. And they, they all resign by now. Because you know it's kinda over. A uh, French guy was actually going to check out the mine of the German pair. Uh, but he's not there, he's gathering somewhere around here, which we haven't scouted. I know there has been a lot of background disturbance in this voice in this video, but I have no idea about how to fix it. So please let me know how you like the video and if you have any suggestions on how I can fix that background noise. Thanks for watching.